Alrighty guys, I am all ready to jump into the gym. I never usually do my makeup or anything for the gym, but today we thought, mm, let's look pretty. Even though the gym is literally through that wall. So I have a gym at home, so we are going to do some gym in there and show you a bit of a workout. Oh my god, I'm going to check if this microphone's working because last time I did this, I literally just filmed another video before this and the microphone wasn't working, so... to show you what I'm wearing because I'm obviously not gonna wear this. I'm drinking my favorite drink before I go to the gym. Shout out to nutrition, my favorites. And then I don't know what I'm gonna wear. I'm not gonna lie, I have like a million options on the bed that I am thinking about wearing. This is my little get ready mirror. That's very dusty. But you know, just giving you a tour of my life. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go through a bit of my glute workout from the core app that I have. My new training app, so if you haven't subscribed to that, go and subscribe to it. I have plenty of programs on here. I think at the moment I have um, glutes and ab program, the hybrid athlete, the stay at home, um, the beginner guide to the gym. I have a core, daily core workout um, program. And there's a three week challenge on there that is still up. We just completed that one, but I've still got it up there if you would like to do it. Alrighty, so I'm on one of the programs. I'm on the glutes and ab program and we are going to do the glute session. Um, so today we've got, first up we've got our warm up and oh my God, guys, if you don't warm up, that's crazy. You need to activate those glutes. So the first thing I've got, I've got single leg glute bridges, double leg glute bridges, isometric hold. Um, banded crab walks. So the first one I'm going to go for my single leg glute bridges. So this is like a super set and then you do that three times. And then for my, the juicy part of my workout, I've got B stance, hip thrust, cast glute, hip thrust. That's a super set. And then I've got a super set of dumbbell RDLs and dumbbell sumo squats. And then I've got step ups, calf raises, and we're done. So let's get it all done. So first thing I am going to get into is my single leg glute bridge. And I've got 10 reps on each side. We're going to do our single leg glute bridges, so it's got my little video there that I can watch my technique and everything. I'm going to go one leg on, we've got 10 reps on each side, and then straight into double leg glute bridge isometric hold. So what I'm going to do is get my timer out for that, so we can hold it for 30 seconds. I love glute bridges, but like honestly, my favourite ex like warm up exercise for my glutes, like before any workout, like I always do them. So I come out in about a right angle with my legs. I'm gonna just put my left leg onto that um, bench and then I'm gonna go up with one leg, pushing through that glute and that hamstring to get myself up. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Swapping those legs over straight away, pushing up. One, two, keeping those hips nice and square. Squeezing all the way out the top. Nine and ten. And then both legs on. Starting at that timer for 30 seconds, really squeezing three glutes here. And, uh, look at that timer. <laughs> okay. I try and keep my hands off the ground because I don't want to put any weight onto the ground. I want to purely be all my glutes and hammies pushing me up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Alrighty, that's the first part of that super set. Now we've got crab walks. So. Alrighty, so now I've got my crab walks and I'm gonna go through how to actually do your crab walks. So I've got the band around my ankles here. What I'm gonna do is set myself up. I'm gonna straight go into a nice squat position. Before I even start, the tension is already on with my glutes and I'm squeezing those glutes tight. Now, 
where my feet are. I'm going to try and keep them wide the whole time to keep the tension on, on that band. So try not to bow your back when you're doing it. Hold that core in tight, going small steps to the left and really squeezing onto those glutes, keeping the tension on the band. And then once you've got to one end and done your tennis steps, you're going to go back the other way, squeezing those glutes on nice and tight. All the way, not releasing, feeling the burn, and then relaxing. You just got to keep the tension on those glutes the whole time you're doing the set. Little small steps, I see a lot of people, they start to like, they go into it and then they go, and like it just releases the tension. We want to keep that tension on, burn the glutes the whole time, activate them. Are you dokey? Right, now once I've done my warm up, I've done three sets of that, I will go straight into the juice of my workout, which, let's go. I've got B stance, hip thrusts, and cast glute hip thrusts. So what I'm doing is a B stance, 10 on each side, which is going to burn high reps on each side. And then we're going in straight into a cast glute hip thrust for 12. I'm going to put the weight at 100 first, get that weight heavy at the start, and then I'll start to drop the weight. The more fatigued I get, I want to try and get out as many reps as I can with that. So try and get out the reps, but I'm going to start with heavy weight first. Starting with heavy weight first just means like you're ready, like your muscles are ready to get that weight up. You don't want to be fatigued when you're building that weight up. And like when I do strength training, I like to build my weight up so I can get it the highest like weight I can for like one rep, whatever, or three reps. But if it's a high amount of reps, I want to get that heavy weight on first to try and get it through. And then on the second set, if I can't get it, like just dropping the weight as I go. I want to build the glutes, build the muscle in the glutes. So, I've got a hundred here. Putting the shoulders onto the bench. I want to try and keep those arms straight. I've got, first up, I'm going to do my left side. So I've got, which is different, what the heck? Usually do my right side first. Left leg forward, right leg is literally just sitting there. Okay, it's just balance. Okay, in that B stance position, holding that core in. Okay, guys, I don't have a pad on. That really hurt. I used to be a gun at using no pads all the time, but right now, she's a fan of princess. She needs a pad. Nice and tall. B stance position. Push up. And back down. Nine and ten. Oh, that's hard. Okay, next leg. I'm sweating like a pig already. Have a quick breather. It is a super set. Okay. Okay, 12 reps. Pushing up and little dips. Once you have done three sets of that, we're going to go into our dumbbell RDLs and then dumbbell super squats. I'm really sweating in this long sleeve, but I feel like I want to keep it on. I don't know. Keep the arms hidden. We're not doing arms today. We're doing glutes. Alrighty. Now I've got dumbbell RDL, dumbbell sumo squat, super set. Let's see how many we've got. We've got 12 to 15 reps of our dumbbell RDL, so we're going to aim for that 15 reps each time. If we can't quite get there, drop it. 
and then we've got 15 reps of our dumbbell sumo squats. Let's get it. I actually love dumbbell sumo squats, they're like amazing. Now I'm in my home gym and our weights look so funny, like I have no clue what is what, so... Um, Nice tall position, shoulders back, and then going to bend those knees slightly, pushing forward, pushing that bum back, squeezing through the glutes as you feel that tension. Squeeze on your way up. We've got three sets of that. Alright. And then on to the next. Now next up, we've got box step ups, 10 reps on each side. Um, straight into calf raises because you can never lose calves on any day. Good day, and we've got 20 reps of just non-weighted calf raises today. Box step ups, it is saying without weight. If you want to put weight on, then go for it. I might even put weight on. Let's get into it. I've got just this bench because I don't actually have a um, box. So I'm just going to use a normal bench, pushing straight up and back down. Okay. What I'm going to do is grab on to a dumbbell on one side as well. Alrighty. Let's get into it. I'm going to do 10 on this right side. Really push all the way into that glute. Try and have a slight lean forward as you push up. Straight into the other side. The glutes are burning from all the other exercises. Push down. calf raises. Coming back, going straight into that. Try and go slowly when you're going up, back down. Try and get all the way on top of those toes and back down. Alright. Alright. If you want to add weight here as well, go for it at the moment. Keep it weightless. I'm still puffing as you can see. <laughs> that is my glute workout. I'll put all the details in the description below. I'll also put the website there too, so of my core app. So what you do is you just go to the website, sign up, subscribe there. It'll give you absolutely everything. You'll get all programs, all nutrition library, all library videos, how-to guides, lab guides, absolutely everything. You'll also get all well-being vlogs, live sessions with me, and to be a part of a community. And yeah, so it's really, really cool. I'd love you to be a part of it. I'll put the website down the bottom and I'll finish off this last set. <laughs> Bye guys. So let's all sit down and be thankful. <laughs> <laughs>